What's up, Paradise Crew? My name's Griff. And I'm Melissa. And today we're talking about if you should have your wedding on a cruise. Mm. Roll intro. I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> We've been asked this question so many times, so we decided to make a video about it. If you didn't already know, we got married during our cruise on the Norwegian Escape in January of 2017. If you haven't seen our vlogs, we will link them in the description box below and pop them up in the cards above. Although we did get married in St. Thomas and not on the ship, we do have some very insightful tips that we can share with you. So our answer, long story short, yes but it depends on what you prioritize for your wedding. That's true. So a quick side note, we didn't actually use the cruise line to plan our wedding. If you're anything like me and don't want a cookie cutter wedding, which means dozen red rose bouquet, pre-recorded music, all that kind of stuff, you can find a local planner on the island or the destination that you're getting married at. They will obviously help you plan everything. They will contact local florists, cake shops, musicians, anything that you want for your wedding day, they will plan it for you. And you can probably save even more money than you would on the cruise ship anyway. All right guys, so here are a couple of pros that we found of the benefits of having your wedding on a cruise. For one, super easy planning. I mean, your wedding planner will have everything set up for you on the cruise ship or on the island that you're having your wedding on. So benefit number two is saving lots of money. Lots of cash. <laughs> lots of cash. Lots of cash. You don't have to spend a minimum of $10,000 on food and beverage. You don't have to rent a room. You don't have to have hours and hours of open bar. Plus, not many people are going to be coming, and those that do come will most likely pay their own way for their cruise. However, you can decide to have your wedding on the first day of the cruise before the ship takes off, and that will allow your guests to participate in the festivities without having to sail for the whole week or weekend. That's a pretty good option as well. The third benefit is you actually get to see a bunch of different destinations, which is really awesome, and you can either have your wedding at one of those destinations, or you can choose to have your wedding on the ship, which is really cool. Benefit number four, you get to spend some extra quality time with your family and friends. A traditional wedding lasts only a few hours and how much time do you really get to spend with your guests? That's actually one of the main reasons we decided to book a cruise for our wedding is because we live so far away from our family and some of our friends that we wanted to spend as much time with them as possible. We love you guys. We love you guys. <laughs> A cruise gives you at least a couple days up to a week to spend time with the people that you care about the most. Plus, you can keep on partying. That's true. All week long. Another benefit is you get to combine your wedding and your honeymoon in one. Or you can have another honeymoon in the future for, you know, some alone time. <laughs> alone time. Alone. Our last benefit is you will get a lot of attention. Walking around in your wedding gown will certainly turn a lot of heads and you could potentially get some free stuff, whether it's champagne and chocolate covered strawberries or free drinks at the bar. Yep. Generally speaking, when you're wearing a giant white dress, people are just <laughs> naturally much nicer to you. <laughs> it's kind of, it's, true. it's like royalty. But now let's talk about a few of the cons you may have with planning your wedding on a cruise. Um, it's certainly non-traditional, even though if you plan accordingly, you can have some of the traditional things, but in our case, the mother-son dance, the father-daughter dance, our first dance, it didn't go as smoothly as you would have hoped. For example, we did have the father-daughter dance planned right after our first dance, but it was interrupted by the band that was playing next door. So we weren't able to do it on the island, but we were able to do it at Howl at the Moon on the ship. So we requested a song and they played it for us and we danced. So it was definitely unique, a memory we will never forget, but it was not traditional. Another downside of having your wedding on a cruise is you don't necessarily get to see things ahead of time. So control freaks, beware. 
if you have your wedding on land the day before, you can go in and see how things are set up or you can have contact with the florist and make sure that things are perfect. You don't really get that on a cruise. You just kind of have to trust that everything is going to be as beautiful as you imagined. Now another con is actually there's no rehearsal, meaning you just show up, meet the officiant, and you just roll with this thing. <laughs> it was a little nerve wracking, but I guess I might have been more nervous if we would have rehearsed it and I knew that I might miss some lines. Didn't you mess up? <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> what did you say? I don't remember. She actually did mess up. She she said, I take this wing. No, oh. I give you this. Oh, she goes, I give you this wing. <laughs> and I tried, I mouthed this wing. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, shut up. <laughs> Middle of the ceremony. It was awesome. <laughs> so there's no rehearsal. There's no rehearsal. <laughs> now the last downside to having your wedding on the island per se is you may miss your port. Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. I forgot about that one. Yeah, that is pretty bad. So there's actually no guarantee that you will actually stop at the ports that are listed on your itinerary. And it won't be an issue, it will not be an issue if you plan your wedding through the cruise line. Because regardless, they will let you have your wedding, whether it's on the ship or on another island, they will figure it out, you will get married. If you plan your wedding like we did in a port and the weather is bad and the ship decides not to dock, you don't have a wedding. You don't have a wedding. On our wedding day in St. Thomas, I got a text message from our wedding planner asking me if we have arrived. I said, yes. She texted me back saying, oh good, because one of my other brides didn't make it. The Carnival cruise ship she was coming in on decided not to dock in port and go somewhere else that day. I didn't even think that this was an option, so we were extremely lucky, but I can't even imagine that happening. Can't even imagine, poor girl. Yeah, so obviously they were going to refund them the money, trying to figure out how to get married again, but if you already spend all that money on a seven day cruise to St. Thomas and all your family's there and you don't have your wedding, then it's a little unfortunate. It sucks. So plan accordingly. Get married in a season where the weather is typically great so you don't have to worry about it. Or just plan with the cruise line because they will take care of you. So if you're not a risk taker, don't do that one. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a risk taker, risk taker. <laughs> we had a beautiful wedding. It was great. Now for us, the pros outweigh the cons for sure, hands down. But it does come down to what you prioritize for your wedding. So if you're really easygoing and love to cruise, or you've always wanted to try a cruise, this could be a really great option. Mm -hmm. Also, if you're already married and watching this, this is a great option for vow renewals. Yeah, so this concludes the video. Uh, let us know if you've been married on the cruise. This would be a great opportunity for you to help others. Let them know how your experience was. Uh, comment in the comment section below. Um, let us know. And if you are getting married on a cruise, please shoot us a message. We'll answer any question you have or just let us know in the comment section. So as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you dig the vibes, please subscribe. And if you care, please share. We'll see you in paradise.